last night. We're all the way here, Tokyo. And we traveled all the way along here, all the way to Kyoto, just right here. Now we have to find our hostel. Come to a famous tea shop in Kyoto. They specialize in tea and green tea ice cream, so I'm definitely gonna try some of that ice cream. It looks good. We were at Sujiri Tea Shop and we ordered the famous Sujiri uh, green tea ice cream part thing. It looks really good. We have some extra time and we're trying to get a jump on getting all these temples in. So we're going to hit our furthest south objective, which is Fukakusa Shrine. The shrine is very busy and there's a trail going this way, so we decided to take it. It looks fun. Hopefully we survive. Walk down the path quite a lot further. We're actually summiting. What was the name of the mountain, Cam? Mount Inari, I think. Mount Inari. I always ask you that. I'm glad you know because I always forget the names. <laughs> but we've come across a pretty cool little... I don't know if this is a cemetery or... It must be. It must be, yeah. Uh, but a lot of uh, rock formation sculptures. And they're really cool. So much more quiet and tranquil up here. We've come further up the path and we're getting more cool sculptures. I feel like uh, they're not really cool sculptures, but... Or something. Yeah. Entry ban of non-worshippers. Oh, and you're not supposed to record. Sorry, I'm almost done. Very cool. Look at this little truck. I don't know how he stayed so clean and got all the way up here. What road? He must have taken this road. That's pretty tight. And this is another way to get up here, but that's cool. Come to another part of the journey. Heading through the story gate towards the waterfall. Lead the charge, Callum. Keep us safe with your umbrella, please. We're going through the wood cutting workshop, wood carving. Going up some more stairs. Oh wow. Not too many people come to this part. It's very quiet, so it makes it a bit more fun, a bit more peaceful. Shrine here. We can go all the way up. Quite steep stairs here. That'd be bad if I slipped. <laughs> be bad for you too, Cal. Cool. Tom spotted an interesting friend on the trip. Well, there he goes. Up in the mountains. Little crab. Oh my gosh. We were walking up the stairs and I spotted one of the legendary dual swordsmen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be careful of him. He's very fast and he has a lot of stamina. Ooh, I'm breathing heavy. We've gone up, I don't know how many of those, but they're quite steep for Mount Inari and an Irish shrine. Wow, we should have went that way apparently. That would have been the cool way to go. What was that way? Going through a lot more Tory gates again. Quite high up. It seemed that we took a different path. Or maybe you're supposed to go this way down. But wow, what a difference to the touristy areas. I didn't even film too much. 
of the touristy areas because well, so many tourists kind of took the magic away. But here, it's awesome. There's not many people, no new people really. And the tour gates are even cooler because they're higher. <laughs> All right, we're at the very top. We need to get out of here because we're blocking people, but that's what it looks like. We're on our way back down now. That was quite the hike. I don't think we went the conventional way. I think there was another way to get up here that you were supposed to go, and we went a back way, but it was kind of fun anyway, so still a great view, and there are still a lot of Tory gates. I don't know how many there are, but probably thousands. Also, Callum said that each one of these was donated by a company and the uh, text on the side is actually just the company's logo or their name. Don't know for sure if that's true, but that's what Calum said. You don't really realize how good of a view there is. can't really see it, but I kind of can get an idea from here. That looks like a scene from an anime love story too. Cue the anime love story music. Still walking and there's literally thousands of these tour gates. It's insane. There's so many. The upkeep must be insane. Just to keep them all standing, I'm sure they must rot out eventually. It's another good view. He went up there. Came down there. Come across some wild beasts. A few cats. Well, we've come back to the busy land. Run all the way around in a big circle. Very cute. Look at that little guy. Having a chill. We managed to find an obscure, obscure place. Because they're supposed to be the best place for authentic food. Hopefully this is actually a restaurant, not just somebody's house. Found a small little restaurant. No tourists. But this is the kind of place that you get the best food. Here's our next hostel room. We just got to check in. And here's my bed. Really nice. Nice space. Even even got a nice privacy curtain. Yeah. I'm excited to sleep in here. It looks really cool. This is unusual for a hostel. They gave us towels and even a toothbrush and a razor. So here's a quick hostel tour. That's where our bunks are, in there. And then if we come through here, we'll come to our nice shower room. Got three pretty big showers. Not bad, definitely can't complain. Good water pressure too, tested it out. And then the bathroom is in here, where you have to put on the special bathroom slippers. And uh, urinals and toilet. Good. Wow, look at that. This is a 30 second walk from our hostel and there's already a massive tour gate. All right, here we are at Yasaka Shrine, extremely close to our hostel. And wow, it's actually a really cool shrine. The lanterns look really cool at night. It's really big. There's still quite a few people. <laughs> even at this time of night. That's one thing really cool about being in Kyoto here is one minute you're in a tranquil sh shrine and then the next you're walking out of the shrine gate into a pretty busy part of the city. Just an interesting contrast. Next time on Japan Ultimate Adventure, we adventure outside of Kyoto to get a glance to the countryside and an awesome view of the city. We also walk through Japan's famous bamboo forest, find out that Japan really does sell everything and anything in vending machines, including fresh produce, and finally see some of the most famous, beautiful, and tranquil temples on earth. Thanks for watching, and remember to like if you want to, and subscribe if you feel like it. We'll catch you next time.